All right, Joseph has left the story he was covering there at City Hall uh, because of breaking news. We are hearing reports of a possible explosion downtown on Lexington Street. People trapped possibly in scaffolding there. Joseph has now made his way down to that scene. What are you seeing? What's happening? Well, good morning, Patrice. We are on Fayette and Charles Street, and I can show you right now. You can see police directing a lot of traffic right here in the street. But let's take you to the scene at this moment right now. You can see a line of firefighters, multiple Baltimore City Fire Department uh, agencies here, also as well as EMS. We do know that this was an explosion with two workers that are trapped in scaffolding. Right now, that's about all the information we do have. But just from looking at the scene, many people out, spectators kind of uh, crowding this area, Police have been directing traffic along the way, and you have seen multiple multiple fire agencies too as well. But we are um, talking with uh, Baltimore Fire right now to get more information. The minute we learn any more information and get any new details about what happened, the condition of these two people that were trapped, and what happened and what caused this explosion, we'll be sure to update you on our Fox Baltimore um, app. Live here in downtown, Joseph Ojo, Fox 45 News. Joseph, before we let you go, I, there were you were saying there were two people on the scaffolding. Are they still trapped physically on the scaffolding or have they been rescued from that? Do we know that at this point? Well, at this point, we have not gotten that yet confirmed, Patrice, but what I can tell you is that when I was walking, I did see a lot of firefighters um, kind of surrounding um, a, a building where we don't know yet if they have gotten them off of that scaffolding, but this is what we're definitely trying to, you know, figure out more and kind of learn from Baltimore City fire officials, but once we do learn more, we'll be sure to, you know, bring that to our viewers. And Joseph, just taking a look at uh, what some of the posts on social media are saying, we're hearing from uh, a local firefighters union that there were two people, two workers uh, that were on the ground being treated with burns. Are you seeing anyone out there near you receiving medical care? Well, from my distance, I can't see anyone actually receiving medical care, but I do see um, EMS trucks here. There are multiple EMS trucks here, even more uh, command units coming in right now at this moment as I'm speaking. But a large uh, um, EMS and fire presence and police presence, police have been blocking off the traffic, making sure everybody is getting to good areas and staying away from the scene. But I haven't seen those two uh, people that were on the scaffolding actually receiving any treatment. Joseph, I have a lot we, of we, crowds being drawn out there, right? We've got him somewhat at a disadvantage. He went rushing to the scene. He's being blocked off right now, as uh, many people are. Mm -hmm. I see people congregating around you. These are people just from nearby buildings who are coming out to see what's happening. Yes, these were people that were kind of, you know, taking in their probably their morning coffee uh, breakfast, many of them coming from work as they were even e either going to work or coming uh, coming uh, just around the area walking or maybe left work to come and see this. But many of them just, you know, like us, just wanted to know what kind of is going on and what happened. And many of them still waiting for information as we are. But we do know that that explosion did injure two people at this current moment. Do we know what that building Joseph, is? Joseph, did anyone hear the explosion? Well, right now, since I just got on the scene, I haven't gotten a chance to talk with uh, too many people about this. But like there was one person that I was passing by that said they did hear an explosion. But I haven't been able to like confirm that if anyone else had actually heard an explosion. All right. Yeah. You know, again, we know you just got to the scene, got your camera powered up and began talking with us. So you have not been able to, to get around to some of the folks that uh, that uh, have been out there. Someone else who's out there, we have Joseph Ojo, our morning reporter out there right now. He's been there for a good 10, 15 minutes now talking to people. Joseph, what are you learning? Any new information? Well, the Baltimore Fire PIO did just say that uh, two people have actually, uh, they have actually gotten off of that scaffolding. We did see at this uh, EMS truck right here, someone was treated, one of the people was treated right here and they were actually just put into this truck. The truck hasn't left currently at the moment, but just taking a look back up at the scaffolding right now, we do know it was this, this BGE building that's right here, that where the two workers were trapped on the scaffolding. Right now, still a very, very active scene. I've gotten a chance to talk with more people who did say they actually heard that explosion. Many of them actually have also been blocked out of work because they can't get to some of those buildings that's behind a lot of this tape and this scene that's right here. But we do know that uh, this was an explosion. Not sure exactly how this explosion started, what caused the scaffolding to malfunction in any way. But we are still working to learn more information as it becomes available. And once we get more, we'll be sure to you know, keep you updated. 
Joseph, let me, let me make sure I'm clear on what you said. One person was treated in the uh, the ambulance behind you. Was that the first person who was rescued from the scaffolding, or was that someone unrelated? Right now, right now, just from what I see at the uh, vantage point that I'm at at Fayette and Charles, it looks like that was that first person. It still does appear that someone was still on that scaffolding, but it was this EMS truck that's right here behind me that a person is actually still right now in that in the back of that truck. We did see them getting treated. They were actually placed in the back of that truck. So we're still learning more. We are seeing more people on the scaffolding, just, but just from the distance that we're kind of seeing it, you see what looks to appear to be a firefighter on there, but can't tell if there is still anyone necessarily on uh, from, from the people that were injured on that scaffolding at this moment. All right, so Megan uh, Joseph, and Joseph, would you say though, the good yeah. news from that might be if that first person on the scaffolding is being treated in the ambulance and the ambulance hasn't needed to move away to get them to further treatment, that may be good news. Well, we can only hope that that is good news. Uh, I did see the person, they were kind of wrapped up in some way. I couldn't tell if it was necessarily a, a sheet or something else wrapping them, but they did look to be in some sort of stable condition, but I don't want to say that for sure without knowing, but like, they, they, they did, they did sure. look like to, to be somewhat okay. But since, like you mentioned, since they haven't moved, it is possible that, you know, maybe they are doing better than uh, what we um, possibly well, it would could think. be, sure, sure. And Joseph, as we take a look behind you, I mean, I, I can't take my eyes off of the, the scaffolding there in what appears to be a rescue still underway with one person there uh, being helped by firefighters. What is the, the feeling out there? What is the emotion? We were reading some tweets earlier where people were, were brought to tears watching this. This is a, an emotional moment to see some something like this unfolding in person. Well, right now, a lot of people are actually outside just watching this, you know, like you mentioned, just in awe, a lot of people with their mouths open. Some people, you know, mentioning that they want to get to work, they want this to kind of be over, they're hoping the best for whoever is up there. You know, right now, from this point, we can't exactly really see necessarily if someone is still currently on there, but it does look like, you know, firefighters are still on there attending to someone at this moment. So, you know, everyone is just hopeful that things go well. You know, a lot of people want to get back to their regular days and just have everything go peacefully. So right now, just, you know, just kind of waiting and many unanswered questions as we kind of, you know, watch as this all unfolds. Joseph, before we let you go, has anyone mentioned that they saw a fire or, a, a, you know, flames from an explosion or was there ever any smoke when you were on the scene? That is what Megan and I have been noticing the absence of. Well, right now, since I've been here, I have not seen any smoke and I've been in two locations. The first location I was at, I got blocked off at the run about five minutes to get over here. Haven't seen any smoke currently at the moment. But what I can tell you is that I did uh, hear a lady pass by just as we were doing this report. She didn't mention that she saw one of the guys on fire. To, if that's true or not, we, we still haven't confirmed that necessarily yet. But just from what I've seen so far from being here, haven't seen necessarily any smoke coming from this building. But you do see that scaffolding that's just hanging and you see people on top of that BGE building and firefighters on the scaffolding at the moment itself. But as I told you, we do know one of the people was placed in one of these EMS trucks that is right here on the ground next to us okay. and they were treated. Joseph, have you seen any signs any? that they've evac or are, are evacuating or have evacuated that building? Have anything to indicate that? Well, from this side that I'm at right now, can't currently see if there were any evacuations, but I do see a, a, a large crowd of people that is kind of behind the build again. Uh, okay. The Baltimore police have definitely kept everybody kind of roped off. They have the whole area taped off. So there is possibility that many of these people were evacuated. Like I mentioned too earlier, just a lot of people saying they were trying to get to work or they were near somewhere that they were maybe getting a food or a coffee and they had to like rush out of the way. But if you take a look now back live right now, this was the EMS truck that I was talking about that has one of those uh, people that were stuck on the scaffolding in there that was treated. Right now, it looks to appear that they are actually taking that person from the scene right now. We're still waiting to hear about their condition and just how that other person is doing and if there is another person on that scaffolding. But once we get any more information, you know, we're going to stay on the scene and, you know, bring you more updates. Well, currently right now, we are taking a look back at the scaffolding right now. And uh, just minutes ago, uh, we did see a firefighter kind of peeking their head out of that uh, window. Right now, from just where this vantage point where I'm at right now on Charles and Fayette, doesn't appear to be anyone on the scaffolding anymore, but you do still, still people at the top of the building. Kind of looks like what's holding up this uh, scaffolding at this moment at the top of the BGE building. But on the ground as well now, we did tell you in our last live hit that that EMS uh, truck that had uh, one person that was on the scaffolding treated 
for injuries that EMS truck did take off and is now um, away from the scene. But scene is still blocked off right now. Baltimore City Police still directing traffic in many ways. So if you are coming into this downtown area, you're going to notice, you know, a lot of delays, a lot of, you know, redirection in traffic right now. A lot of people also still standing by, just watching it all, still waiting for answers and wondering kind of what happened. We do know at our last update, we had about six or seven people who were uh, supposed uh, said to be injured. But we don't know if they were on that scaffolding, were they around the scaffolding. Uh, we don't know necessarily how they got injured, but we're still working on that information right now. But we do know this was an explosion. It was an explosion that led to these two um, workers being trapped in the scaffolding and injured. Right now, we're still working to learn any more information, but a lot of people out here still trying to get to work as I've been sitting here kind of talking to people. You know, I did also speak with one lady who did say she saw one of the workers on fire. We're still working to confirm all of that. We're working to confirm how the other people involved as well even got injured. And once we get any information, we'll be sure to bring that to you live. All right, and Joseph. this is probably, you know, what she might have seen. Did she see that that worker on fire inside the scaffolding or, or down on the floor? Was she able to, to explain a little more? Well, she said it was on the ground that she saw that worker on fire. She said it was around his arm area where he was kind of burnt. So right now, just still working to confirm that. But she saw it on the ground uh, currently. And Joseph, I know we were asking you a little bit more about what you're seeing, what you're hearing. Uh, kind of a crazy question, but what are you smelling? You know, when we speak of an explosion, do you smell smoke? Is there anything like that in the air? Well, from where, I, from where I'm standing from the building right now, you can't smell any smoke. And when I was closer to that building of where the scaffolding uh, kind of malfunctioned and is hanging off, right now, you couldn't smell any smoke at that time. And right now, still can't smell any smoke. But just at this moment right now, as I'm speaking to you, more fire units are responding to the scene. So this kind of seems a lot more serious than mm -hmm. what it was in the beginning because we've seen a large presence of fire crews on the scene, but even more are responding right now. Yeah, we can hear the sirens uh, there. So I, it, maybe there is something inside the building that we are just not able to see or there is a concern that there could be further explosions or containing the scene. Yeah, just so many unanswered questions uh, right now as this is still actively unfolding. Uh, understandable that there aren't a lot of people to give answers right now as they are working the scene. Joseph, are you seeing of, uh, evacuations underway? Well, ev evacuations, yes, for sure, because there are a lot of construction workers that are actually on the sidewalks kind of far away from the scene. You've seen a lot of people who either work nearby or like probably live nearby who've been just blocked off and pushed back a distance. So Baltimore City uh, Police is actually keeping a lot of people back from the scene. As I've mentioned, I've been talking with people who are actually trying to get to work near this building and they just can't even get there. It's all taped off, roped off and blocked off right now. But what I can tell you is that there are uh, some evacuations that are going on because you do see a lot of um, uh, construction workers kind of back out and away from the scene. So all of this is just unfolding as we kind of go along. All right. Boy, oh boy. And those crews that are arriving right now, do you see a sense of, you know, rushing in to, to try and help in this? Or are, is it more of a kind of well, we're here to respond if needed kind of feel? Well, it looks like they're rushing in to help with something. You know, from this point, right from where I'm standing right here on Charles and Fayette, can't necessarily see because there's a lot of just bigger uh, trucks that are blocking my uh, view at this current moment. But what I can tell you, it seems that they have been rushing in to help with something because they're they're passing this line of like just other fire trucks that are kind of like sitting idly. So they're approaching closer to the building. So it seems as though they might be responding to something. Like you mentioned there, we haven't smelled the smoke ourselves, but there might be something inside that they might be even responding to there. So we have seen more of these units coming uh, back, 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 back to back. So a lot still unfolding with this scene. All right, thank you, Alexa. Let's continue our team coverage. Joseph Ojo was the first at the scene this morning, been talking with us since then. What's changed since you first arrived, Joseph? Well, Patrice, still a very, very active scene here along Fayette Street. From this time when we arrived here in the morning, we can still tell you very active around here, still multiple crews here on scene. Let's take your attention to that scaffolding where this all kind of was the focus of the attention after the explosion and a partial roof collapse at this BGE building. So they were focused on the 16th floor and when I first got onto the scene, we couldn't really see any smoke from the building. But the scaffolding at this moment is still hanging. We saw workers uh, moments ago just kind of like wrapping up what they were doing. 
We also talked with a passerby who, uh, and people who work nearby who were just in awe as they just watched as these rescues were going on. There was two window washers who were trapped on that scaffolding. And there were a number of units who responded to the scene. Our cameras also captured several people being placed in the back of the EMS trucks. In total, there were 10 people who were injured. Uh, nine of them critical, uh, nine of them in critical condition, and one in serious condition. Luckily, fire crews are saying that no one else was in the building at the time, which possibly avoided more injuries. But as you can see right now, back here on the ground, fire crews and BGE still out here, remaining on scene as they wrap up this investigation here live in downtown Baltimore. That's the very latest here, live in downtown Baltimore. Joseph Ojo, Fox 45 News. Joseph, thank you, and Fox.